Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Spike Viper and this is the Universe Sandbox 2. Last time we looked at the beautiful new addition of space lasers into the game. Yes, lasers in outer space, look at that beautiful laser pointer. I mean, they are beautiful and there's a lot you can do with them including basically destroying everything um, with lasers. But something we didn't look at is how surface grids affect normal collisions. Because I'm assuming that now that the world is localized in the uh, instead of the entire planet having the temperature and stuff, it kind of being simulated on a grid. I'm curious if there's any new way that the world is affected when we like hit it with a small asteroid or something. Will it create an area that goes extinct uh, or dies around the blast um, differently than it did before? I'm just, I'm very, I'm very curious. And it looks like a little bit of work is we're inside of the world. Flat Earthers rejoice. It's actually an inside out sphere. Like, uh, I'll get demonetized, like the N-A-Z-I's, uh, some of them thought. I inside out, and then the sun's in the center. No, okay, okay. Let's, let's get out of there. Okay, let's see if this new, uh, surface grid system actually changes things at all. Random asteroid, let's let it drop down onto Earth and do its thing. We're probably gonna have to turn time pretty slow, so that we can actually see the impact. Here we go. Here we are. This looks a little bit more like a comet. Looks like we've got an ice ball, and it's going to smack dab right into uh, lower China, a little bit near Vietnam and stuff, actually. South Asia. Ooh. So here's our collision. We've got our shockwaves like normal. But do we have any, like, so I can actually see the grid. You can see the squares. Um, they'll probably do a better job of hiding it in the future, but the question is, is it going to be more localized damage? Like, what are we going to see in the immediate area? So like before, the displacement map, we can definitely see that it's getting pushed down it's filling with water, but those the squares, I can definitely see something has changed in them. Um, I'm very, I'm very curious how the new system works. Let's let this go for a bit. Huh. Okay, maybe, maybe it is working. It would appear that this is taking a lot longer to cool down than it would in the past. I'm not sure if that's on purpose or not. And those, the shape it's formed isn't just like a circle. It, it looks like there's actually like a molten part of the world here that's going to last for a while. So that's interesting. So the localized damage is definitely a plus. Um... No way to complain about that. There's a lot of fun things we can do with it. And the the laser, the laser is my favorite part, I'll be honest. Um, n nothing gets better than being able to draw a happy face on the earth. Whee! Oh, the water! The water takes a little bit longer to heat up, I believe. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, fine. Fine, that is a no. Let's just burn off. <gasps> Yo! Oh my god, we can be so cool. Let's remove the polar ice caps. What What will happen if we just remove the polar ice caps? Place your bets today. This is Safety 101. Please, please place your bets in the, in the comments below. If you are correct, you will get a cookie. The world will flood. Actually, there's not that much water in the ice caps. The the, the calculations, the world, the, the the it would go up a, a bit, but it wouldn't like completely flood. Um, however, we will let's see if removing the ice caps changes the albedo of the world at all because it should because the ice caps actually reflect a lot of light. So let's see just how detailed this game has gotten it. So where is the albedo? Did, did they remove it? Hopefully not. Life likelihood, magnetosphere and stuff. 
<clears throat> surface. Oh, look at that. The surface temperature, you can see at the equator how it changes and at the poles how it changes. Average surface temperature, minimum temperature, maximum temperature. That is really neat. Really neat. Oh, oh there we go. Average albedo. No way. Wait a second. I I I actually think this is going to work. I'm going to be so shocked and impressed if this actually works how I think it's going to work. Let's reduce the power a little bit just so that it melts the ice. And let's see if it works. Is there any way to hide that atmosphere temperature? Oh, I guess we can see the poles well enough. Come on, come on, come on. Go down when I do this. We're moving the ice. Is it going to change the surface, Salvador? No, it's not. Oh, I was so hopeful. Although we can, we can certainly see that the temperature on certain parts of Earth have gotten so high that the rest of the temperature map no longer exists. Oh, I'm so sad that the average hasn't changed. I, I was really hoping, I was really hoping that that was gonna work. Where's Antarctica? Stop hiding from me, darn it! Is that you? That's Antarctica. Okay, let's let's just remove that. Okay, okay. Ignore the fact that the oceans and the atmosphere is leaving. Why am I streaming at 11:18? Because it's Halloween and I had a busy day. Okay, Earth Earth is doing fantastic after the loss of its ice caps. But I think the the real question is, can we remove the ice caps without causing collateral damage? <laughs> we need a we need a much weaker laser. Like, let's try a hundred times weaker. Let's do two exawatts, which doesn't see. Well, let's first test it on the Himalayans. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that that cleared out the snow, and it doesn't seem to have done any any other unwanted damage. Let's see how it looks on the surf. Oh, look at that. so yeah, yeah, it increased the temperature to a hundred degrees, um, but not two thousands. Fantastic. Spike, did you rig the Senate election? I don't know how I would rig the Senate election. I I was in class. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and melt this ice right off. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Very nice. Okay, so we can see on the map we've done a little bit of damage to the entire Earth. But overall... We actually haven't broken everything. Okay, and now, in the same way, we're going to clean up Antarctica. And, given a little bit of heat, oh, I may have heated it up a little bit too much. There we go! We have removed... Wait a second. Is it, is it flooding? Is that flooding? I I am actually curious. That looks a little bit more blue. I would be I would be super shocked if that actually caused flooding. That would be so impressive. Ooh, Lake Victoria looking good. At least I think that's what that lake's called. Um No. Oh, I thought I thought for a moment this looked a little bit blue. I was hopeful. Let's knock a little bit more ice off. Just to make sure. Canada, we're gonna warm you up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, it would appear that nothing is happening. I was hoping that water levels would rise or something exciting, but no. Let's try to create Atlantis. Um, if that's not gonna work, let's try to create Atlantis. Right in the middle of the Pacific, let's try to remove actually we'll do it in the no we'll do it in the pacific i guess or wherever the game ends up on okay atlantic fine fine atlantic sounds good i just need it to be going very slowly okay here we go atlantis here we go 
We just have to get rid of the water in this one central area. Can we build a wall to keep the water out? Let's just build a circle. Okay, okay, okay. I know it seems bad, but if we build a circle of heat, let's increase the power of the laser a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit, not earth killing amounts. We'll do, we'll switch it to like six. Three times the power, okay. That's a lot of it faster. Like, we're, we're, we're emitting a lot of energy onto Earth, but I'm sure it's gonna be okay. I want to... I want to make a landmass by evaporating all of the water in the area. I'm not sure if it's actually going to work, but I'm going to try. We are going to use a laser to build Atlantis. It's fantastic. What could possibly go wrong? This is actually how Atlant Atlantis was originally made. Come on, <laughs> please. You are definitely over the boiling point. I don't want to see any water. It would be nice if we could grab parts of the land and, like, pull them up with the surface grids. Is that a thing? That would be so cool. Like, the material tool. That would make me pretty happy. Wait a second. Wait a second. Does it actually? Wait, no, that was water. Oh, I would have been so happy if that was a thing. Instead, we just poured way too much water. It looks like the water actually... Yo! Look at that! Wait a second, the water actually flows. What? It's actually getting deeper. What the heck? What is going on here? This is too cool. Oh, but it stopped. Does it only do that for a little bit and then it just dis Okay, wait. Wait, that was that was really neat. That was really neat and I'm I'm very confused at how that worked. Let's try Mars. And see if the water like spreads out like that again. I I would be so happy. That would be such an interesting accidental discovery. Oh my god, look at that. Do you see what it's doing? Okay, so the surface grid is not smooth. They haven't gotten any smoothing in the mesh. Um, however, it builds up. It really does. And I guess up here is cold enough for it to actually be ice. So we can actually form a new ice cap on Mars. This is wacky. Look at that. I wonder if it'll melt over time. No, because Mars is cold. I think we may have just created a permanent ice cap. Oh, these surface grids are making me happy. Okay, let's increase the rate. Let's increase the amount of water or no that's that's the most we can do i guess i don't know if we keep adding water are we going to get an ocean at some point please please shumples thank you for subscribing with twitch prime highly appreciate it so this is cool I'm a big fan of the surface grid. Like I said, it doesn't look the cleanest yet, but that'll probably be pretty easy for them to smooth out. Um, just a little bit of mess uh, meshing tricks. Uh, I believe this, yeah, Universe Sandbox 2 is made in Unity. So that's actually a problem I've run into in the past uh, in my projects, and that's that's fun to find a solution for. Okay. 
So it looks like it definitely looks like the surface grids are well functional. You, you can definitely see it. Um, I'm very curious about a few ways that they work. Very curious. Like if we heated up Mars to the point where there could actually be liquid water, will it allow it? So let's increase the average surface temperature to 10 degrees. Okay, so we've overridden the temperature of Mars. So now if we go to the tools and uh, material, water. So we saw the atmosphere for a second. Now the water should be able to go onto the surface. What percentage are we getting to? Oh, oh, we can see the atmosphere is actually spreading over the surface. That's odd. You'd think that would just be the whole planet. Um, oh, is that an ocean? I can't even tell. Honestly, can't tell. I think those are oceans that are forming. Maybe not. Maybe they're just dark parts of Mars. I mean, we're, we've added quite a bit of water at this point. Maybe not enough, though. It's not like Earth. It didn't already have water. That just looks bluish. It's messing with my eyes now. That's... Is it? No, it's just bluish. Dark. Come on! I want to see water! If I manually increase the amount of water... I just, I want to see if this is just an earth thing. Oh. No, we aren't getting any. Oh, 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 look at that. It, oh my God. Universe Sandbox 2 has water physics. Oh my God. Look at it. Oh, that is beautiful. And the water runs to the lower elevations. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I really like this. Oh, my hat is off to the people who, who programmed this. This is beautiful. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay. Okay, this is the best update this game has ever had. That's it. That That's it. They added water physics. New city skylines, everyone. That's it. Oh, this changes everything. I don't have enough time to continue lamenting about how fantastic this is, but this is so good. This is so good for so many reasons. Oh, and the water gets darker as it gets deeper. Oh, God. Spoiling us. Spoiling us, Universe Sandbox 2. But I will see you all next time. Bye.